Hi everyone, welcome to another installment of Insights with C5 Insights. Nope, restart, sorry. <laughs> That's it. Okay, good, get this good. Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to another installment of Insights with C5 Insight. My name is Emily Boiteau and I'm joined by my colleagues Jason and Paige. And for today, now that the Wave 1 release has started launching, uh, the North America launch I know was last week and it's slowly rolling around the world, we wanted to chat about some key features that we thought were really exciting that are either um, ready for users to uh, use now or are coming down um, in the coming months within the Wave 1 release. So I'm going to pass it over to Jason to talk about a few features. Sure. Thank you so much, Emily. So one of my favorite things to do, and, and something that's super responsive, um, Microsoft approvals. And I know everyone loves that there. They're a super cool feature. Um, coming in May 2023 for general availability, you can now have sequential approvals. That's right. You know, you don't have to have a power automate with all these crazy decision trees going through based on outcomes. Uh, you can literally set it up natively uh, in the new approval action. Um, super cool. Essentially, users can define multiple levels or, or stages within an approval and assign who needs to approve something. If it's rejected at any stage within the flow, it is considered rejected and will not move on to the next stage. Uh, all approvals, all approvers will also be able to view a history of the approval at each stage. So dynamic through and through. Um, I thought that was a pretty cool feature. That's awesome. Did and sorry if you if you did mention this in the intro, but are there limits to the number of stages or, or levels of approval? You know, it, it doesn't say in the notes. Uh, I imagine there may be. You know, if you're an organization that you have, you know, hundred levels of different approvers, you know, maybe that's something to to, to, to reconsider. Take a look at, to reconsider. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. I'm, I'm sure we could put far more than than any organization needs in there, which is pretty and cool. And if you've got a hundred layers of approvers, uh, we probably need to look at your process. Uh, yeah, that might see be if a we separate. Can, uh, update that for you. Help you help you work through that. Conversation. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. A separate conversation. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, I will say for all those uh, Power Automate developers out there, one thing I'm personally really excited about um, is coming June 2023. We now have versioning for solutions uh, for solution cloud flows. Huge. As we know right now, we make a change and you save it. Well, better hope that's the change you wanted to make because there is no undo. There's no going back, no versioning in Cloudflows right now. Um, but that will not be the case coming soon, guys. So get excited for that. Yeah, I'm sure all of us have done have done the save and oh no. <laughs> I know yep. I have. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that sounds that's like a really excited. cool one. No, and when's that, when did you say that one's coming? So that comes for a uh, public preview in June of 2023. Okay. So, so is it soon. early access? Yeah. Uh, it is not early access. It actually okay. doesn't have a, uh, a timeline slated for it, for early access. Um, but it's still act technically included in release wave one. Oh, so yeah. That's, that's okay. Coming through the, the yeah, they, they like to use the uh, the whole range of April to to the end of September. For the waves, that's for, for sure. The first yeah. wave, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so I'm pretty excited about that. It'll be, I think it's really, really cool when they add features like that. Um, also, things like uh, your cloud flow execution history. You know, all your all your different flows are now stored in Dataverse as well. So if you're uh, someone that's administrator, you know, your your job is to kind of keep a hold of that for your organization. Um, it's going to give you a much better way to manage all the flows. Uh, you know, across multiple environments. That's super, super cool as well for those guys. Awesome. Nice. Perfect. Thanks so much for sharing, Jason. Absolutely. Paige. Yeah, what so you chat uh, about? the one I have is uh, redacted sensitive personal data from customer calls. So um, this one came into public preview uh, February 7th. Um, so it's been out just a little bit, but it is still included in the uh, in the uh, wave uh, 2023 release wave one. Um, so it hasn't it's not going to be available for GA until September. You know, like I said, they got they like to use the whole uh, months in the wave. Um, but the cool thing about this is it's going to use AI 
to redact sensitive information like uh, credit card information, things of that nature, in things like transcriptions, <coughs> excuse me, and things of that nature. So that if when you have it turned on, when you go back and look at calls, you look at summaries or notes, any action items, that sensitive information will be redacted once you get this turned on. That is very cool. <laughs> Which I think is a very powerful tool. And incredibly Absolutely. important. Yeah. Yeah, that really allows awesome. organizations to uh, kind of protect their customers and um, you know provide them more security. Which, hey, that's always a good thing, right? That is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very cool, Paige. Nice. Thanks for sharing, Paige. Okay, I'm going to try something that we all know works always 100% of the time. I'm going to try sharing my screen on a live recording and see what the results are. Um, awesome. But as I'm starting to share, the feature that I wanted to bring up that I think is very cool and is available um, from the um, from the get-go, from the initial wave release, is the new focused view. So what we're seeing on my screen right now is um, from the leads area, I have opened my focused view to look at my open leads specifically. And so what this view does is it will give you a list of your records for the view that you opened. So for example, my open leads and similar to the record set view, you can easily navigate between your open leads just by clicking um, between each record and, a, and then you'll be able to see your lead information. But what's really cool about this is you notice on each individual lead record card, any open or pending um, activities that are not yet completed are showing up on this card. So for example, for this Robin lead that I have open, I have a phone call record upcoming. Let's say I have taken this phone call and I wanna mark this activity as complete. You'll see that I have Robin's lead record open on the right-hand side here. If I click on this phone call, What's going to happen is the phone call activity record is actually going to pop up on my screen. It's not going to take me away from my lead. It's going to open up right on my same screen so I can enter um, the description of what my phone call was, enter any additional details, mark this as complete. Let's give that a second. And then I am still on Robin's lead record. So it's really making it more efficient for um, any for any CRM users to not have to bounce around screens and the ability to manage their activities all in one place. That is really cool. Yes. From a productivity standpoint. Exactly. And so it's available. User. Yeah, 100%. And it's available for accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunities. And when you're in the main module view, you'll see a button that says focus view. Um, so you can open that up and, and you can open it on any view of records within those uh, tables. So really neat feature that I, I think is um, really beneficial for, for users. You know, and, 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 and anybody who's, <clears throat> you know, dialing for dollars or doing follow-ups on anything, you know, customer service or sales, um, the ability to be able to, because odds are good, they're going to want to do a quick scan of, of the customer information or the prospect information. So the idea that they can go ahead and do that quickly and then immediately get going on that activity, you know, because a lot of times people will manage uh, what they need to do with an activity view, um, but but it, but when they do that, they still have to click in to get to the to the detail information. Exactly. So being able to do something like that, I think, is huge. And I I can think about several groups that will really look forward to being able to use that. Yeah, agreed, one hundred percent. And I think internally, yeah. we're already using it. Our sales team is already using it, actually. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. I've Perfect. Really been impressed just recently with uh, all their updates to Dynamics and the Power Platform in general. Um, but I think that, was it just this release wave that they redid all the controls and all of the, uh, just the uplift, uplift the experience of Dynamics itself? Yeah, and you may have seen that. I, I don't want to sh jinx it and share my screen again, but um, when I was sharing my screen, you may have noticed the improved controls and even just how um, the command bar and the header is a bit separate from the rest of the form. I think that that, um, I, I believe it's the new Fluent UI, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah. is a really nice, easy to look at form experience as yeah. compared to what we've been used to. Um, so I really do think that that's a, a great improvement as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely one of those things where you're like, 
something's I'm not 100 percent sure what's different, but something's different. And I like it kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It almost I think the fields are a bit more pronounced as well, even just agreed. like that, the input fields in particular. So, yeah, yeah agreed. No, that's great. Well, okay. thank you both for sharing your um, your a few key features from Wave One, and thanks everyone for tuning in. Uh, be sure to visit our YouTube channel for our past recordings, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks. Bye bye.